Ow! Ow! Ah, fuck you and your headlights! Ow! Yeah, this is definitely... Motherfucker! This is definitely one hell of an intro to... To oh. the new podcast. Oh, God, my eyes! That hurt! Oh, my eyes were adjusted to the dark and the person in front of us just turned on their brights! What the fuck? That fucking hurt! Okay, take two. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pitiful Envoy 7. And Shen, as always, welcome to Road Trip Ramblings, because this is something we just kind of do anyways. We get on the weirdest of topics, so it's like, fuck it, we'll make a podcast. Right? The, these started off as just segments in our quick review series over on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Pitiful Alloy 7. Yep. But... That just kind of tangented off into its own thing, so we said, fuck it, we'll start just recording that. Right? It, I mean, it makes the most sense to just record it and sorry if you all can hear like some background noise like the reason this is called road trip rambling is because well we're in the car we're in the car so you'll hear you'll hear that a little bit occasionally so you sorry, might hear the fan sometimes oh god the heartburn <laughs> here have some cucumber gatorade thank you cucumber lime gatorade you are a fucking lifesaver and it explodes oh god my eyes god ah okay Ah, uh, the delicious, refreshing scent of, er, scent and taste of cucumber. Well, scent, scent too. too. I wouldn't mind a cucumber scented candle. Actually, me neither. Those probably exist. It has to exist. Why wouldn't it? Google. Ooh. What? I, rem I know why this is such a sipping drink now. Yeah? I just took a big gulp of it. <laughs> when you cucumber take a big... candle. When you take a big gulp of cucumber lime... Oh. You get more of the lime than the cucumber. I have no signal right now, so I'll, I'll get back to you on cucumber candles and how much, like, one of those would cost. Yeah. So, yeah, this is episode one of Pitiful Alloy 7 and Shin, or Shin and Pitiful's Road Trip Ramblings. I've already forgotten what I've called this. It's a podcast. We're, we might just cut it down to Road Trip Rambles. Who cares? Yeah. It's our podcast. We can do whatever the hell we want. <laughs> Precisely. The, the title is not specifically set in stone yet, but for right now... It's what it, it is what it is. Yeah. So whatever it winds up being when you get to it, know that it was something else before. And probably something else before that. It's going to change probably. Who knows? Yeah, because funny enough, my pod, the podcast used to Whoa. feature just me back in 2020. And it was only ever one episode of something I called Pitiful Vents. Where I would... Officer? Where I would just... Um, Pull up, pull up the recording software for the podcast on Anchor to um, just talk whenever I re whenever I reached my breaking point mentally. Which thankfully it was only ever one episode. But. Yeah. So we've scrapped that and brought this here. Exactly. So hello and welcome from reanimating dead concepts. Exactly. So how about we take the opportunity, since this is episode one of the podcast, to just introduce ourselves. I'll let you go first. I'm Shen. Shen is always on Tumblr. Um, I'm a regular guest on Pat's channel, Pitiful Alley 7, his channel. Yeah. And I generally just like causing varying degrees of mayhem and questioning reality on the internet. <clears throat> My Tumblr isn't much to look at at the moment, but it's there. I'm, I'm working on making more posts, but I'm just... Pat says he's not creative. God help me if I'm creative. <laughs> I mean, I'm not creative, but that's also just at me. some point I'm gonna start a MySpace because we've decided that I'm just gonna go to defunct social media. Why not? Right. If anyone else comes up with more defunct social media for me to join, by all means, send it my way. Yeah, exactly. Just let just let us know in the comments because this will be uploaded to. Uh, if Vine comes YouTube back, I'm well. gonna be on Vine. I don't know how. I don't know why. I'm gonna be on Vine. Oh well, yeah, it's Vine. Yeah. Right, so uh, oh god, what were some others that, were, that went I don't know. weird? Well, um, I'd say vid.me, but I think that website in and of itself got shut down in its entirety. I think so too. You know, you know just for shits and gigs, since no one fucking uses the platform, very rarely do people actually use the platform. Storyfire. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that is. You ever heard of a YouTuber called McJuggernuggets? No. Wow. Okay, never mind. He was, I, he was I stay more out of every specific corner of the internet. Fair enough. He was more he was popular back in the day of YouTube for the whole psycho dad, psycho kid bullshit. But no fucking clue. Honestly, thank God. It's a part it's a part of my life on the internet I wish I could get back. 
But yeah, anything else, anything else you want the viewers to know about you, like how we met and shit like that? We met working at Walmart. I picked him. <laughs> I am the extrovert. I picked this loser. Yeah, that, that's pretty much how it happened. We were introduced by a mutual friend that at least I knew in high school. And I knew from high school. And then so. working with him, I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, so we met, we met through him, and it was just literally a whole... Shen looked at me and was like, you. This one's mine now. Or as the audio on TikTok, you're my friend now. We're, We're giving soft, soft tacos, tacos later. later. Ironically, I've never taken you out for tacos. Because I hate tacos. We're going to change this. I'm going to find tacos you like. The only tacos I eat are homemade tacos because I control what's in it and how much is in it. I have to find something. Because there's got to be like the subway of tacos. I don't know. But anyways. Any oh yeah, now I've got a signal. Back to cucumber candles. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, since I assume Shen's probably done with his introductions. Mostly. Uh, cucumber water. Uh, well, there's a Victoria's Secret cucumber water scented candle for eight bucks. Or it's on sale for eight bucks. Normally it's 18. Jesus. Joe Biden scented candle? What the fuck? Why what? does come up on cucumber? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just, sure, whatever. Just fuck ignore it. it, I guess. That's just funny, though. Now, this is going to be a lot of me just going down strange tangents on the internet while we're doing this, or just us getting up sidetracked on anything else. Pretty much. But, yeah, Shin's intros are done, so anyone who doesn't know me, despite this being uploaded on my YouTube channel, and going to hopefully probably be on Spotify, too. Hi, my name's Pat. I am go by Pitiful Alloy 7 <laughs> basically everywhere on the internet. I started making content in 2015, and only back in 2020 did I actually really start gaining subscribers because I started doing reactions on the channel, which is a thing that's been go that's been going on. And my entire philosophy with things personally is if I can at least make someone's day better, I've I've succeeded in what I want to do because I always. Because I've always gone to YouTube as a way of trying to lighten my day up if I'm having a very shit day. So I want to be able to be that for someone else. That's that's just me. Sorry, my brain. I, I've had 300, just shy of 350 milligrams of caffeine today. And we're and we're also technically documenting your spiral down into the caffeine crash. Oh God, yeah. So I was the talking troubles were not part of that. This has happened post concussion. Oh yeah. And it was bad before, it's worse now. I was so. about to say, it was bad pre-concussion, but it's kind of gotten worse post-concussion. So I might need to bring that up to a doctor next time I see him on. Pro that'd probably be recommended. Yeah, I'll worry about that when I get there. Um, if we ever get there at this yeah. point. But, anyway, I've had about 350 milligrams of caffeine in my system from a drink. The caffeine crash started to hit me about, I'm going to call it, what, 10 minutes ago? About. Yeah, about 10 minutes ago. It hasn't fully hit. I'm still, like riding the wave of caffeine, but I can tell it's like, yep, I have peaked. It is all in my system. It is only downhill from here. Yeah, if I'm honest, that caffeine didn't affect you nearly as much as I thought it was going to. Caffeine does not affect me the same way it does everybody else. That is very fucking true, considering your entire fucking, almost basically your entire career at Walmart, from what you told me, was nothing at, at this point but, like, caffeine. Oh, yeah. So it wouldn't surprise me if your body is doing to caffeine what mine does to ibuprofen and other kinds of painkillers just basically flat out ignoring it yeah i built up a tolerance which means i need more caffeine to get a result but the good news is i generally try not to have too much caffeine anyways try succeeding at that no but try surprisingly enough you have if i at least being around me whenever you're not working and everything you have been kind of succeeding at that. This is the most cat. That's the most amount of caffeine I've seen you have in quite a few weeks now. Yeah. Like, I don't generally get energy drinks anymore. I'll just go for a soda. Right. But. The only time I've seen you drink an energy drink was when we were. Is for our quick reviews. Yeah. At this point. Fuck your headlights. You're in the city. Why do you need high beams? Those weren't high beams. Fuck your headlights. 
Those are the fucking neon headlights. I hate them. Yeah. I mean, I I love them when they're not being used against me. If they were on my car, fuck yeah, I'd love them because I could actually properly see at night. Because mm -hmm. I already have a difficult enough time seeing at night when it's driving. Every single fucking light look has like these fucking lines that come off of them and shit. Make them extra glary. Uh, yeah, that's just something up with your eyes. Everyone's got that to a degree. Glasses don't help. Oh, glasses don't help. It's almost like my eyes go into fucking J.J. Abrams mode with the lens flare. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Which, thankfully, he has severely dialed that back for ever since, like, the first Star Trek film. Yeah. That he did, because... You mean the one that was just... Ow! Lens flare? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love the movie, but... Because I am a Star you Trek You could tell fan. anything was happening through the lens flare? Yeah. But thank, I will say, thankfully, he dialed that back way the fuck back and into darkness and beyond. Ah, uh, family dollar. I started that sentence going somewhere. Got lost. Don't care. Fair enough. So, some uh, entertainment news that I found out recently. Oh, God, what'd you find? Um, I know you probably don't care too much about it, hey. but finally found out when Hasman Hotel is being is going to finally start releasing episodes. Oh, actually, I do kind of care about that. Summer of next year. Yeah, okay. About fucking time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's hell of a boss you don't really care about. I, I, I mean, it's either one, but I want to worry about uh, has been before I start getting into hell of a boss. I know, same universe, but... Eh. Same, same universe, but I guess kind of different reasons one would watch them. Yeah. Me, I watch Hell of a Boss, one, because I'm a reaction channel now, so that. And two, I just genuinely enjoy Hell of a Boss. Three, it was actually how I was introduced to Alex Brightman, mm. which is why, um, for the longest fucking time, anytime I listened to Beetlejuice, I couldn't help but, but see Fizzarali from Hell of a Boss when Alex was fucking talking. Yeah. Now I can only see Beetlejuice anytime Fizz is talking. <laughs> Good. God damn. Correct. I mean, it is correct. It's Alex Brightman, for God's sakes. I mean, the other option is seeing Jack Black. You mean you don't see that when Alex, when you just see Alex Brightman in general? Fair. The only time he played Jack Black's character in the School of Rock musical. Yeah, for the, those that are unaware. Yeah, the only time I don't see Jack Black when when Alex Brightman is on stage is when he is being Beetlejuice. Yeah. And even then, I still sometimes see a Beetlejuiced Jack Black. <laughs> I want Jack Black to play Beetlejuice. You know, I feel like he would bring a great energy to the character, but I don't think he'd be correct. Oh, no, he wouldn't be correct what's a fucking ever. Because <laughs> it's either... For Beetlejuice, you have to have either Alex Brightman or Michael Keaton. Yes. But Michael Keaton would not work for Broadway, and Alex Brightman, Brightman would not work for movie. They are their own separate things. Right. It's like how I feel about with the live-action Megatrons. Hugo Weaving is the definitive live-action Megatron and not Frank Welker. Frank Welker's voice does not fit in a live-action Megatron. To me. Animated stuff, yes. Frank Welker all the way. But, yes. But live-action... Hugo Weaving just was Megatron for me. It's like Mark Hamill and the Joker. Exactly. Like, you can get many different people to play the Joker. You can get many... There's a lot of good Jokers. Yeah, you can get There's many... exactly one shit one. <laughs> but... Exactly. You, and you can get many different people try to imitate what Mark Hamill did for the Joker with But his... the best ones do their own spin on it. Exactly. Fuck, one of the best Jokers is the earliest one we got with Cesar Romero. Right. God, I gotta go back and watch the Adam West Batman series again. Yeah, like, like hell, it even has to do with, like, another franchise that I, like, Ben 10. With Ben, with Ben 10 Classic, they had the voice for, they had Gwen's voice actress, whose name I'm blanking on right now, and then when Omniverse came around, they ended up recasting young Gwen, and you can tell that she tried going what Gwen's original vo voice actress did in the Classic series, but it just didn't work. Yeah. Because, holy fuck, $15 scallop dinner? That's expensive. Depends. How good are the scallops? From what I've heard of Governor's, probably not that good. Yeah, fair. Uh, 
But yeah, this is what. Stand by. But yeah, this is what we mean by just different fucking side tangents. I don't even remember what we were talking about originally. But we just went off on a major fucking side tangent. We took like three left turns and still somehow didn't get back to where we started. Pretty much. Uh, all of a sudden in my mind, I'm thinking people just watching our conversation from afar. They're making a left turn. They're uh, making another left turn. <laughs> Wonder what the fuck's going to happen next. Hey, look, a left turn. Let's go ahead and cut to commercial and come back in half an hour. You ain't going to miss a fucking thing. Shout out to anyone who knows what I was referencing there. Uh, I'm going back for more cucumber Gatorade. Yeah. This has no right to be it's good. It's so good. It's like the cucumber Lay's. I know. They don't have any right to be good. I got to find more cucumber flavored things. Have we just discovered that our favorite flavor is cucumber? I think so. Fuck it. I'm okay with that. I wonder if they've ever made a... Overseas, at least, if they ever made a cucumber Pringles. Probably. Because if they made a cucumber Lay's, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a cucumber Pringles out there somewhere. Well, let's find out. Hey, Siri. Cucumber Pringles. Okay. I found this in the web. Uh, Lay's Stacks Cucumber. I'll take it. Close enough. Yeah. Like, that's, that's technically Pringle. Pringle adjacent. It, it's inferior, but it... I like the Lay's Stacks. Oh, don't get me wrong. I do too, but in my opinion, they're just inferior to Pringles. I need this. Go ahead. Heartburn is hitting. Go ahead. Feel free to snack on that as much as you need. Not snack. You know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, wow. I caught a couple more sips of that than I meant to. You see what I mean, though? Yes. And I feel like I just got a mouthful of cucumber seeds. You know the flavor of that. Oh, yeah. I, was, I think I was mentioning that earlier in our quick review. Well, you're saying, like, you had the sensation of a cucumber seed under the tongue. Oh, yeah. I just feel like I've got a mouthful of cucumber seed. Like with the uh, rain, watermelon, how will you feel the texture of yes. biting into a the watermelon? The placebo effect's a hell of a drug. Isn't it? Ah. Uh. Like the same thing with the cucumber lays. My brain fills in the other flavors I expect with a starchy cucumber thing. So in this case, it was potato and cucumber, but my brain filled it in for the uh, like a cucumber sandwich. So that was cucumber, cream cheese, and chive. Fair enough. Yeah, like I honestly just love when things just are like taste the way that you expect it to or has the flavor you expect it to unlike something like the the uh, Jolly Rancher gummies we had last night oh god those were so bad they were terrible and as much as I liked the war the warhead jelly bean sour jelly beans they weren't sour they weren't sour and that's coming from someone who doesn't do sour who doesn't do sour just like I don't do spice I, I have no spice tolerance and I have no Sour tolerance? Is that what you would call it? I guess. I have no sour tolerance either. Like, if you were to give me a toxic waste candy, oh fuck no, that's way too fucking sour for me. Well, yeah, toxic waste is like top end, man, for like uh, most people's sour. Yeah, you were hamming it up a tad bit around dad, but I could still tell. There was a degree that I was not hamming it up. Exactly. You have a master ham. Yeah, you ham it up around dad. Not so much around me, and I remember your reaction when you had one of those just when Dad wasn't around. Yeah. I Wow, I just had a fucking flashback to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You weren't having a good time because you put multiples in your mouth. Oh, yeah. No, that sucked. That sucked ass. And then there's what fucking Tyler did when he when he got the fucking toxic waste. He, waste. he took one of every single flavor and put them all in his mouth at once. Yeah. I felt so bad for Tyler, but I also didn't because he's he has the opportunity to be about as fucking stupid as we can be. Yep. But again, it's Tyler too. That's his fucking. That's the entire point of his channel. Yeah. I wonder if he even does this podcast anymore. He has a podcast. Yeah, he's had a podcast for a while called Tyler Unglued. Oh yeah. I just don't know if he ever does anything with it anymore. It was a thing for quite a fucking while. It was on his second channel. Yeah. Well. But, whatever. 
I, I start again. I started that going somewhere, and then my brain just kind of lost the plot. Yeah, I'll I'll chalk that up to the caffeine crash starting to hit you more. Yeah. Because while that does happen on a semi-regular basis, not I to, usually fight not because, to this degree. Yeah, no, this is just nope. This is just straight caffeine, straight up wanting to kick your ass now. Hmm. I'm gonna roll down the window, try to wake myself up a little. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to deal with the consequences of that. I yeah. uh, my brain just totally blanked. We were still had the recording up. On the other hand, I've got to be able to at least make it home. Fair. I may not be the one behind the wheel, but I do need to be able to be conscious during this. Exactly, because... I don't I, need Pat shit-talking me while I'm asleep. I mean, I shouldn't talk you to your face when you're awake. Yeah, and I can shit-talk you right back. I mean, fair enough. I do appreciate that so many people have likened us to brothers, and we've... We are not related in the slightest. Oh, hell no. I'm probably going to roll your window up a tad bit. Yeah, Just, no, that's fine. That. There. That, that yeah, hits that, the forehead. Good enough. Yeah, that went a lot quicker up up quicker than I thought because I always forget that that side's automatic up and down as well. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Ah! Fucking headlights. Yeah, those were the high beams. Fucking tick back. Absolutely. As of recording, or as of right now, it is 8.30 p.m. Yeah. So it is dark. People should have their high beams on. However, you should have seen our headlights on the fucking poles and lines. Uh-huh. Like, that's how I was taught to look to make sure if I was going to have to turn off my high beams coming up. Exactly. If I can't see the car, I'll see their headlights. That's exactly what I was taught, too. Like, it, it's just standard driver etiquette there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, cucumber and weirdly meaty burps. Oh, Jesus. It's not bad, but... But it's not good? It's strange. <laughs> Fair enough. Ah. Oh. Are you going to survive over there? Yeah, I, I just have the strangest combination of flavors in my mouth right now. Yeah, ex... Now, nah, you're I'm starting to get a little cold with that. Uh, e explain to everyone just the sheer amount of shit you've put in your stomach for flavor combinations today. So I've had a 344 milligram energy drink. We've established this one. That's why you're crashing. Which has a very strange cut flavor to it. I don't know how to describe it. It exists. It's certainly a thing. It, it, it cycled like, through every energy drink I've ever had. What he said. For the base flavors. It was just very strange. Cucumber lime Gatorade. Fucking delicious. Cherry black cherry barbecue pork jerky. Buffalo ranch chicken sandwich. Now there was something else that I've had. Oh yeah, some earlier in the day, I had a bite of. And actually, I might still have it in my bag. I don't remember if I snagged it or not. A some variety of a pumpkin spice. Whoopie pie, like dark, uh, yeah, dark cocoa and and pumpkin spice, which is pretty good, but very rich. I imagine. If I didn't snag it, then it's not a big loss because there was no way I was gonna be able to eat all that in one sitting. Right. And before that, I had a Thai sesame noodle salad. It wouldn't. Which it was wouldn't, not substantial, but it was something in my stomach. It wouldn't surprise me if your stomach is still recovering from last night. No, everything from last night has been purged. Good. Because... Honestly, not e I, the chip didn't even put you in that, mu that much pain. I'd never seen you in that much pain that fucking quick before. The chip took a moment for my brain to process that it was in pain. Yeah, but even then, it didn't seem as bad as that fucking ghost pepper ramen did. It hurt. It hurt a lot. Yeah. I want to know what fucking ghost pepper... Oh, hey, Mike's live. Nice. Oh, yeah. wonder what he's doing tonight. I don't know. What, what were you saying? Ah. Uh, you want to see what ghost pepper... I want to know what fucking variety of ghost pepper, if there's different varieties, because that might just be a different one than what I'm used to having. It's, it's entirely possible. Who knows? Yeah. 
You know, I'll never understand how some people can do podcasts for two to three hours long recording sessions. Well, because usually they don't do it all like in one go, one go. Or if they do, there's like lulls in the topic conversation so they'll go off and do whatever. Fair enough. Hmm. Look, the good news is we're just about home, so I think this should be about the end of this recording. Yeah, probably. Um, any anything you want to say to any of the any of the listeners out there? Remember to get your pets spayed and neuters, licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets, and be sure to tip your waitress. Fair enough. Uh, and if you're gonna be stupid, fully fucking commit to it. If you're gonna do stupid, go full stupid. What he said. He said... He Never half-ass anything. No. Just... Whole ass or nothing. Fair enough. But... Yeah, that's episode... That's this first... Introductory... Introductory episode of... The... Road Rambling... Yeah, something that, like that. Is that what we called it? The road Trip Rambles, something like road that. Road Trip Rambles, whatever. This I'm, podcast. Yeah, I'm Pat, a.k.a. Pitiful Alloy 7. Pat, as always. And thank you, everyone, for tuning into the podcast. We'll see you guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Goodbye.